Well, parents in Cedar City are outraged, saying they were not notified soon enough by the district after a former Canyon View High School student pulled a gun on four students right in the campus parking lot and physically assaulted another student later in the day. Fox 13 News reporter Darian DeBrule has new details from police and spoke with a parent in the Iron County School District about what he thinks what went wrong and how everyone can do more to help protect students. Gavin Messerly is a father of six. Like many other Cedar City parents, he feels he was left in the dark about the incident at Canyon View High School on Monday. They could have reached out to the parents and let us know what happened. And I know there are probably reasons why they didn't. I know that I would have liked to have known. I can't speak for the school district on exactly what their policies are and what they decide. But I mean, we don't put out step by step processes as far as we want to ensure the information that we're receiving is accurate. In a statement from the district, they said in part the altercations did not come to the school's attention until the end of the school day on Monday when students reported them to the school resource officer. A police investigation began at that time. Through subsequent interviews, the timeline and report of a weapon came to light midday Tuesday. Between 1230 and 1255, we had received some information that the suspect had shared some threats on social media. So due to the threats and the close proximity of the suspect's um, residents to our schools, they were placed on lockdown. But Messerly says parents were still unaware of what really happened on campus the day before until the press release. I read the press release again and realized that not only was a student able to get on campus once but twice. And my immediate reaction was I wasn't even surprised. Messerly says this is all part of a bigger issue, a lack of accountability and resources at public schools. Why do we not know who comes on campus? Why do we have no idea who walks into the school? Why do we have no idea what happens when our kids walk out those doors? And, and some of that is on parents. Messerly says there is just not enough money or resources to help schools protect students. If the teachers are in their classrooms and the resource officer is in his closet and the principal is doing his principally duties in his office, you know, who's watching? Who is standing at that door making sure that some psycho doesn't walk in with whatever? Nobody. The answer is nobody. Nobody's there. Darian DeBrule, Fox 13 News, Utah.